use the Mohr theorem to find the roots of the equation z to the power of 4 is 1 minus i. We need to actually find the root of degree of 4 of uh, uh, this complex number and to find root of degree of n in general complex number must be represented in modulus argument form. So the first step is to rewrite this complex number in modulus argument form. To do that we can use just uh, diagram, real part, imaginary part and uh, 1 minus 1i its point with coordinates 1 and negative 1 and you can see that we get uh, isosceles right angle triangle and uh, hypotenuse is just distance from origin which is uh, equal to modulus it just root 2 and angle is 45 degrees or pi over 4 but for angles its starting point and in clockwise direction angle is negative so we can write that uh, that to the power of 4 is root 2 or 2 to the power of a half e to the power of minus pi over 4 i or we can add or subtract any number of 2 pi or 360 and uh, so that we get positive angle so we can rewrite as e to the power of 7 pi over 4i 7 pi over uh, 4 is just angle in anti-clockwise direction which is positive also we can just use formula if uh, any uh, complex number is uh, x plus i y modulus is root of x squared plus y squared for this problem it's just one squared plus one squared is root two and argument is equal to just arctangent y over x for the first and for the fourth quadrants and for the fourth uh, quadrant you get uh, negative angle and you can add uh, to pi and get positive as required and for the second and uh, the third quadrants argument is just pi plus arctangent y over x for the second quadrant y over x is negative arctangent of negative number is minus arctangent of positive and finally you get pi minus something and hence angle is in the second quadrant as required for the third y over x is positive so you get pi plus something hence angle in, is in the third quadrant as required so how to find root of degree of n formula is that k and uh, uh, since it's uh, z to the power of 4 in general there are four unique roots why unique because if you add to any root uh, to angle uh, to pi you get equivalent or actually the same root but rotated to pi so formula is that k is root of degree of 4 of modulus so it's just 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power of i theta k where theta k is initial angle 7 pi over 4 divided by n in general here it's uh, over 4 so 7 pi over 4 divided by 4 is 7 pi over 16 plus 2 pi k always 2 pi k divided by n for this problem is over 4 and k is 0 1 2 3 So we just substitute uh, k uh, 0 for k calculate it will be the first root uh, 1 for k is the second and so on and uh, to be easier to calculate I multiply numerator denominator here by 4 to rewrite as uh, 8 8 over 16 0 1 2. In general, I write uh, that uh, 0 is and uh, substitute 2 to the power 1 over 8, e to the power of 7 pi over 16 over 
7 pi over 16 i but for this problem uh, it is uh, given um, roots are specified and uh, to avoid ambiguity I uh, write uh, roots just with comma so when k is 0 the first root is 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power of 7 pi over 16 i the second root is 2 to the power 1 over 8 uh, just substitute 1 for, for k and it is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power of 15 15 pi over 16 i the next root is 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power of 23 pi over 16 i and the last root is 2 to the power of 1 over 8 e to the power of 31 pi over 16 i and we need uh, represent these roots on a diagram always roots are equally spaced so angles are uh, angles between consecutive uh, roots are equal and since there are four uh, four roots uh, 360 for revolution divided by 4 is uh, 90 degrees hence uh, all roots are perpendicular and we can see the first root is 7 pi over 16 pi over 2 it's uh, 8 pi over 16 and 7 pi over 16 it's a bit less and actually pi over 16 less so imaginary real so the first root is somewhere here and it must be perpendicular and same lengths from origin and each length from origin represents modulus and is 2 to the power 1 over 8, 2 to the power 1 over 8, 1 over 8 and per, uh, per are perpendicular and angle is pi over 16 and you can notice that uh, the uh, these uh, two perpendicular rays lines are just shifted uh, pi over 16 in uh, clockwise direction so everywhere pi over 16 and and we need roots in the first and second quadrants so in the first quadrant it's z1 and in the second it's this one you can see that uh, 15 pi over 16 it's uh, a bit less than uh, 16 pi over 16 which is pi so it's uh, the second quadrant and we need find z2 over z1 so z2 over z1 is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power 15 pi over 16 i divided by 2 to the power 1 over 8 e to the power of 7 pi over 16 i and you can see it just 1 we can, we can just cancel them and uh, for uh, to divide e to some power we can just use rules as usual for power so to divide two powers uh, it will be the same base but we subtract indices so 15 pi over 16 i minus 7 pi over 16 i and it is equal to e to the power of i pi oh, 
it's better y over 2i and it's in uh, a modulus argument form and to rewrite to represent in uh, usual uh, form as uh, a plus bi formula is given in data booklet booklet it's uh, modulus uh, cosine theta plus i sine theta so modulus here it's one so it just cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2 and uh, cosine of uh, pi over 2 is 0 sine pi over 2 is 1 so it just i and that's all for this question